Hello, uh, my name is uh, Stefan and uh, I would like to give you a brief introduction to the International Development and Agricultural Economics Master uh, Study Program, uh, which is being taught at the Faculty of Tropical Agri-Sciences in the Czech University of Life Sciences in Prague. Uh, about myself, I've been uh, finishing or uh, graduating from uh, this study program in 2019. And currently I am uh, working on my PhD in the same faculty and in a similar field of expertise. Just shortly about the Faculty of Tropical Agri-Sciences itself. Um, it is obviously part of the Czech University of Life Sciences in Prague. It has been established in the year 2013 um, as part of the transformation um, from the Institute of Tropics and Subtropics. Um, by now, the Faculty of Tropical Agri-Sciences is the smallest uh, faculty in the Czech University of Life Sciences, but also one of the most diverse and certainly one of the most interesting in terms of study programs offered. Um, uh, main focus uh, of our faculty is, uh, of course, on agriculture, um, rural development and sustainable management of natural and energy resources in the uh, in tropical and subtropical countries. Uh, also worth to mention is the fact that uh, we have received a new building which was just opened at the end of 2020, um, meaning um, this building is, uh, uh, yeah, has a lot of um, state-of-the-art facilities, including uh, meeting rooms, uh, laboratories, very modern classrooms, uh, and even a uh, botanical garden uh, very close by. So overall the um, teaching experience and study experience in this new building is very up to date. Going more specific towards the study program, um, as I said, um, the title is International Development and Agricultural Economics. Length of the study is approximately two years, um, which equals to four semesters you will be rewarded with an uh, engineer um, degree, which is the Czech um, equivalent to a master of science. So basically it corresponds to that. The language of uh, teaching is uh, of course English, um, also because uh, our faculty is very international. And uh, from that point of view, um, everybody just interacts usually in English language. Um, the tuition fee you have to expect is 6,000 crowns per study year, which equals to approximately 230 euro at the moment. Um, within the uh, master degree of international development and agricultural economics, you will um, focus on certain fields of specialization, which is of course covering the field of agricultural policies. So you will learn um, how uh, policy decisions and how policies are developed in accordance to certain situations um, of agricultural uh, dependent countries. And um, based on that, you will also uh, learn more about institutional and behavioral theories, about poverty alleviation and development strategies, crop production and uh, economic botany um, and you will also dig deeper into the global food security issues you will learn about certain indicators how to measure that and how to yeah, come up with strategies to improve the food security in areas which are prone to yeah, issues in that regard <clears throat> also um, international trade principles will be covered of course um, an, econo an econometric analysis and data processing um, is part of the study program, which really helps you to understand the um, side of uh, statistics and uh, analysis uh, of the data you acquire during your um, research. Um, furthermore, uh, you will have a course on economics and tropical farming systems, and you will also learn more about marketing and value chains in tropical and subtropical countries. Uh, in the study program, you will have to complete um, certain obligatory courses. Um, that's, for example, agricultural policy in developing countries, um, institutional and behavioral economics, which also gives you uh, a little more insight into 
the psychological aspects of economic decision making um, opposed to just looking at the neoclassical uh, point of view of, of economics. Um, furthermore, uh, you will um, cover the topic of tropical crop production in a course, which will show you um, which specific crops are grown in certain parts uh, of the world. Um, animal production in the tropics, in the tropics uh, tropical uh, products marketing uh, will uh, teach you the principles and theories of uh, marketing applied to uh, products of tropical uh, origin, mostly agricultural products. And um, then you will have a course on global food security, uh, applied research methods in agriculture, which really gives you a very good idea about the end-to-end -end process of um, um, conducting research. So from the literature review to the data collection, through the data analysis, interpretation, and um, yeah, following up by um, writing a manuscript or even publishing a paper on what you have done. Um, this is also complemented by econometrics for tropical agriculture, which really um, allows you to understand a bit more about the um, econometric theories about how data is analyzed, how um, you apply certain models for um, data analysis. And um, yeah, it allows you to understand also the theories behind that. Um, almost the same as economics and farming systems. And last but not least, you will also uh, learn, of course, more about cooperatives and farmer associations since they are um, a key um, point in agricultural uh, behavior in, in tropical and subtropical countries, usually. Um, so next to the required courses, you have a very wide range of courses you can choose by yourself. So depending on the semester, there will be a couple of semesters in which you will have a lot of obligatory courses, but in other semesters, you will have a lot of um, options to choose courses for yourself. Um, I will not go through all of them, um, but um, you can see there uh, you have um, development and poverty reduction strategies, economic botany, uh, research, uh, resource ecology, agroforestry, aquaculture, but also things like focus group discussion, how they are conducted, um, organic waste management, uh, even introduction into engineering or you can learn about personal security and risk management. And overall, um, in theory, you can look up the whole catalog of courses offered in the Czech University of Life Sciences. So um, across all the faculties in the university. And uh, basically, you can choose um, to attend any of those courses. Um, however, you should always consult with your thesis supervisor if um, it makes sense for your personal specialization, if, even in consideration of your master thesis, that um, yeah, you will have um, a good uh, solid theoretical background based on the courses you choose. Um, next to that, um, you will also have to um, go abroad for your uh, research or throughout the studies, which is first year, of course, in the data collection um, process. So when you uh, are conducting your own research, you can whether go to your home country or you can participate in projects in other countries uh, and you will collect your data in the field, which is a very good experience. Um, as I said, you can join uh, research projects, which are quite a lot of uh, them available in our faculty. Um, uh, furthermore, you have to um, participate or you have to attend a practical uh, or research training in form of an internship, uh, which can be done either in the Czech Republic or abroad. But you're, all, of course, always encouraged to do this abroad. And the um, same goes for the summer schools. It's a very good opportunity to learn how um, Similar studies are carried out in other um, universities in other countries, for example, Cambodia or uh, Ukraine. So usually the destination is changing every year. 
and it's always a very good opportunity to go abroad and uh, also you even have uh, funding opportunities for such um, occasions and lastly of course you can also participate in the Erasmus program uh, or exchange program um, our faculty or our university in general is cooperating with a lot of other universities in Europe and um, you will have a very good opportunities to spend one semester abroad and then come back and continue with your studies here in Prague. So uh, the requirements for graduation um, are obviously uh, to pass all the courses you have select for your study plan, so the optional ones, but also the um, required ones, of course. Um, the second element will be a thesis defense, so you have to um, of course, firstly, write your thesis based on your research and you have to present and defend uh, your findings in front of a committee, which is consisting of members of our faculty, but also of external um, committee members who will be critically um, asking you questions in this regard. And um, you have to prove yourself that you already know uh, about the subject you have been working on in the past couple of years. And then thirdly, you will pass also a, a state exam, which is in the form of oral examinations in the following fields, uh, which is agricultural policy and rural institutions, farming systems and poverty elevation, and lastly, economic theories and marketing strategies. Those um, state examinations are basically, you can see them as a summary of um, the major um, study elements you have been focusing on during this study program and they kind of reflect on uh, yeah on the core theories and core concepts uh, in order for yourself to to prove that you uh, mem memorize them uh, well even throughout those four semesters the admission procedure uh, is straight uh, forward. Um, you will just um, access the internal university um, administration system through uh, the link uh, you can see on the web uh, on the on the slide. Um, you will create an application and pay a fee of uh, 500 crowns, which equals to 20 euros. Based on this, you will uh, then submit your bachelor diploma, your annotation of the, of the bachelor thesis, a transcript of your records, your CV and um, um, elaborate motivational letter. This will all be reviewed by um, the staff uh, of our faculty and um, based on that, it will be selected if you will be invited for um, an in-depth interview which can either take place uh, in person in Prague if you're already there, or you can do it, of course, via video call. And this in-depth interview mainly um, focuses on your personal motivation, but also your existing knowledge in the field already. So we can be sure that uh, there is a mutual um, benefit for the student, but also the faculty. Application deadline is uh, end of March uh, for this round. Uh, yes, so just to round uh, this up, I will uh, give you just a couple of points from my personal study experience of studying international development and agricultural economics. Um, first of all, it's a very international environment, so you can make a lot of connections from all around the world, which I think is very um, interesting. Um, then you have uh, very diverse uh, research projects you can uh, work on or you can uh, create some collaborations with other colleagues, other students and um, uh, lecturers and professors of the faculty. And if you already have a very clear idea of what you would like to do for your master thesis and if you lay it out in a logical way, you also have a chance to uh, follow your own path in terms of research. Um, next to that, I just believe Prague uh, is a very good city for uh, students because it offers literally everything from a very good public transportation to nightlife and uh, it is also a very affordable city compared to other European capitals. 
Um, you have excellent networking opportunities. Um, you will gain a specialization in a very important field because agriculture um, will be even a more important topic in the future than it is now. Um, obviously, you will have uh, very uh, good um, opportunities to travel abroad during your studies, uh, since it is even basically a condition. Um, the faculty will also give you uh, a lot of flexibility in your personal schedule through choosing your own optional courses, etc. And uh, last but not least, the atmosphere in the Faculty of Tropical Agri-Sciences Agri very warm, very welcoming and very personal. And I think everybody who studies there feels um, comfortable from the very first moment because uh, yeah, it is just uh, a very nice atmosphere in, in the faculty. If you have any more questions, uh, you can find us on Facebook, on Instagram and on LinkedIn. Uh, where you can ask further questions to uh, students who are currently um, uh, studying in this uh, program or also alumni as me, for example, who have already completed it. And um, yeah, we will always be happy to, to answer any open questions in that regard. And uh, here you will find some more information uh, how to get in touch with our study administration. They can tell you about all technical uh, aspects in terms of requirements for your application, etc. So I will leave it to that and can only encourage you to sign up to the tropics. Thank you very much.